Hi, I'm Rob Mullet, a local Perth chef, and today we're going to be making a beet salad with local greens and as well as some local beets uh, of the yellow and red variety. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by taking the greens and just placing them on the plate in a nice line. Like I've decided to use a long plate like this just because it's a nice presentation. So next I'm going to take some of these red and yellow beets and I'm just going to layer them on top of the greens. And you can mix them in with red as well as yellow ones. And also what I've done is layered them um, so that the red beets bleed into the yellow beets just a little bit. And it makes for a really, really wonderful presentation. I'm gonna put these on the plate like this. That should be good. Okay, and then what I'm also gonna do is just a little pinch of salt. And that brings out a lot of the flavors. So I'm going to use a blend of chive oil which all that is, is chives blended with oil and passed through a strainer. So you don't have any chunky bits of chives in your oil. So I'm gonna give it a nice little shake. And then I'm just gonna drizzle some over top, nice and gently like that. And the chive oil itself will sit up on the plate. So it's a nice green against the white and it looks really, really beautiful. And next I'm going to add some maple cashews. And again, you can get these right here at Foodsmiths. And it adds a really nice texture to the dish as well as a nice little bit of maple, because everybody likes maple. I'm also going to use some goat cheese. And you don't need very much. And I've chosen to go with a creamy goat cheese. You can also use a crumbly goat cheese, so a drier goat cheese is fine. But you don't need very much, just a few dollops here and there. And it works really, really well with the bitterness of the greens, as well as the sweetness of the beets. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of maple syrup. And the maple syrup works really, really well with the maple cashews that we have here. And you, again, you don't need very much of it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some balsamic vinegar. And again, you, you really don't need a whole lot. It's very, very strong. And then just like that, you've got a roasted beet salad.